In my last video comparing the CQ Red Special to the BMG Red Special, a lot of people seem to get upset. Some people saying I was a disgrace, shame on you, I'm insulting guitar luthiers everywhere. I think a lot of people have missed the point of what that video is actually for. Now there's a lot of kids out there who haven't got all the gear, they don't have three Brian May Vox AC30s with a Greg Fryer treble booster and all the rest of the paraphernalia that goes on with creating the Brian May guitar sound. A lot of kids with a practice amp, a BMG, a practice amp and say a Digitech uh, Brian May pedal think that if they upgrade to something like a CQ uh, Red Special or indeed the Brian May Super that's going to miraculously make things a lot better uh, and it's a lot of money to, to spend. So the comparison really was that of playing both guitars through a simple setup, a Digitech a Brian May pedal using an iRig microphone connected straight to the iPhone to make that comparison. If I just flip the camera around, if you look at that, the accuracy is, is second to none and it is a beautiful guitar and played through you know a set of Vox AC30s with a Greg Fryer treble booster it is going to sound absolutely amazing even with the setup that I used the clarity and it's sharper uh, sound than that of the BMG so my conclusion really was based on the fact that the BMG is good for that basic home use Brian May sound without breaking the bank but if you want it to go the whole hog and have the real I am then you want to go for the CQ but there's a huge price difference between the two guitars so I hope that clears things up I hope I haven't upset anyone and as always thank you for watching